All right, um, we are going to finish unit four pre-assessment. So this is page two. If you haven't um, watched page one first, please go ahead and do that and then come back. Um, here we go. So we have problem number six. Um, Matthew wants to build, um, Matthew wants to build, sorry, technical difficulties. Um, craft stick birdhouses to sell at the craft fair. Each birdhouse costs $3.50 to make. Use the ratio table to find the cost to make 21 birdhouses. So if one is $3.50, I'm going to go ahead and jump to 10. So 10 would be $35 because I just move my decimal one spot over. Um, it grew one place value. So $35. Um, so if I double that, I know that 20 birdhouses would be $70, and now I need 21, so I can add 350 to 70 and get $73.50, so I would get 21, okay, because I would add those and add those, and so my final answer would be $73.50, okay, so for the next one, use the ratio table to find out how many birdhouses Matthew um, can make for $346.50. Well, I already have 21 houses is $73.50. So I can use this information from this ratio table to keep building, but I need to get to $346.50. So um, I'm already here. I know that 10 was $35. So 100 would be $350, but that's too much. So if I take one off, $3.50, or $350 minus $3.50, I now have $346.50. So this would be 99. So I now know that Matthew can make 99 birdhouses for that much money. Okay, um, on the next one, the next one talks about Esperanza. Esperanza is helping her aunt bag apples to sell at the market. Um, they have 98 apples and they want to put 14 apples in each bag. So how many full bags of apples will they have when they are done? So I know they have 98 apples total and they want to make 14 bags, and they want to know how many apples will be in each bag. So that equation would be 98 divided by 14 equals what? Okay? So in problem A, it doesn't say to solve yet. It says make and explain a reasonable estimate. So I don't have to solve. I need to make an estimate about how many. It says about. About how many bags will they fill? And how do I know? Well, if I make an estimate, I like to round on this one because 98 is pretty close to 100. So if I make it 100 divided by 14, well, I don't really know that in my head. But I know that 100 divided by 10 equals 10, and 100 divided by 20 equals 5. And if 14 is kind of in the middle of 10 and 20, right, then I'm going to say about 7 apples in each bag. About seven apples in each bag, okay? And that's just an estimate, right? It's not the actual answer. So on problem B, it says now solve the problem using numbers, labeled sketches, or words and show your work. So you can solve this in any way. You can use standard algorithm, you can use a ratio table, you could use any method that you wanted, over and under, whatever works for you. So, um, I like to use a ratio table because that's just me. That's my method of choice. So I know that um, 98 divided by 14 is the same thing as 14 times what equals 98. Okay, so I'm going to say 1 times 14 is 14. 10 times 14 is 140, which is too many. 5, which is this cut in half, which would be 70. So I'm getting closer. If I make it 6, 
I have my 1 and my 5 to make 6, so 14 and 70, I would get 84. Well, let's add one more to make 7. 7 and 14, that would be 98. So my answer is 7. So my estimate was pretty darn close. Or it was right on, sorry, it wasn't close. I had a good estimate, I got really close. Um, so 7, so it would be 7 apples per bag. Okay, my next one, write your answer here using a complete sentence. Be sure and label your answer with correct units. Okay, so you have to then write your answer here using a complete sentence. Okay, that means you need a capital, you need a period, you need a whole sentence explaining what it is and using the label with correct units. Okay, all those things count for points. Okay, so you can do that on your own.